Hello guys, how are we doing today? My name is Vremox and um, yeah, I will be making a quick video on uh, a lot of from Trade Scout Master actually. What you actually need to download to use Trade Scout Master. A lot of people do not know what you actually need to download from Trade Scout Master. The easiest thing is though to download like everything. But a lot of people don't want to do that because uh, they just download that, but that's not enough. So um, I will say right now, and I will also explain the Trade Scout Master application. So, uh, okay, let's go. Um, so, what you actually want to download is you go to curse.com or you have the curse client and you're going to type in Trade Scout Master. You're going to search for that add on. And then you're going to get on this page, or if you're on the curse client, you're going to have those uh, add ons then. And uh, basically, the ones that you're going to download are these Trade Scout Master, Trade Scout Master Crafting, Trade Scout Master Mailing, Auction. DB, auctioning, accounting, item tracker, shopping, warehousing, destroying, wall auction, and additions. And that's basically it. The rest, you do not need. You don't need the other ones. They maybe do something, but it's not. You don't need them. You just don't need them. And like, you have that guild sort. There's like another add on called Bank Stack that like sorts your bags and your guild banks and all that stuff. So, you don't need anything else. Basically, what you only need is these ones. Um, I will say what they are. Trade skill master is just the add-on. Then crafting is uh, you need these. Um, so it's gonna change your. If you click on like enchanting, it's gonna change that tool, that that tooltip basically, or how we need to say that menu. And uh, basically, it's gonna calculate for you the uh, profits and uh, it's gonna calculate the profits that you can make on your items. And then it says like a craft queue and. Uh, Pretty much, uh, it's pretty much gonna be this. This is gonna happen then if you download that. That's TSM crafting. Um, then TSM mailing. That's basically the mailing operation. You do not really need this, but I would suggest taking it because you can actually see how much you made in like one mail, and um, you can actually make like an operation for like sending items to some other people. That's really nice. Uh, really when you have like a lot of items like glyphs or drew, uh, gems or anything like that. Uh, auction DB is actually the add-on that's the most important. It actually scans your auction, auction house. But I will explain, in, like after I explain all these add-ons, um, I will go on, go over to Trade Skill Master and then we're going to download the application. And uh, then it's actually going to scan the auction house automatically for you. But you still need this. Because these, like this... Thing it does like all the prices and stuff it gives you the prices so it's really important you have that uh, accounting basically means that um, uh, auctioning that's like auctioning that basically means that it's gonna put your items up uh, on on the auction house um, accounting uh, that's the one that keeps track of your sales basically if you have any sales you can actually check it in accounting but the problem is though when you transfer a server you actually um, you actually lose the uh, accounting data. That's pretty sad though. I don't know, maybe they fixed it already, but it wasn't for me like a couple of months ago, so. Or like a year ago actually already, so yeah. Well, probably a couple of months, I don't know. Uh, it also says what you expanded, um, expenses, your failed auctions, items, summary player, gold, and everything. Um, item tracker, basically, me it's a really nice add-on. You can actually, um, Find out if you have anything like still in your inventory and stuff. It also it also gives you like tool tips um, right here. Uh, if you go over an item, you can see actually how many items you have and how many there are. Like there's one on that guy. There's there's a couple on that guy. You know that's basically what it means. That's item tracker. Then shopping. That's basically the shopping operation for trade skill master. You can actually make like shopping lists. Um, I will explain that later in like another video on like my transmog videos um, How you can actually shop your items. It's really nice to do and uh, it's really handy um, Then we go to warehousing that basically is um, This is basically for people that have a lot of items you can actually like if you have a bag full of glyphs you can actually um, you can actually say, I want to put the glyphs all in my bank. For this, it's like the bank, uh, it's the guild tab. You can also put it in your bank. You just have to click one button and it goes, everything goes in there. And if you want to take the items, you can actually take them out too. So 
that's warehousing. It's really easy. Um, destroying is really nice, and you should have it. It basically is a little um, tooltip that uh, if you type slash TSM destroying, you actually get this, and you actually need to press one button to destroy your items, even if it's like different things like disenchanting, uh, prospecting, or milling. It doesn't really matter. If it just has the items in the bags, it's fine. Uh, there's also macros for that. I will explain that later on in another video. Um, then WoW Auction is basically another um, add-on that basically scans the auction house. You can actually see like a bit more detail about prices. It actually scans like once a day and you can actually see how much is it on your realm, like sort of. Um, and also the region actually. The region is really nice because it also says the region average daily quantity. Like how much it actually sells daily. And uh, if it's like two, if it's like like higher, like if it's two hundred seventy one, it sells like pr quite often. So sometimes it says like like one, so it sells like once a day on on one realm. So it's quite low then. But uh, sometimes you have like zero point something, and that's pretty much really helpful for transmog gear. Um, and then the auditions is actually um, it actually. Um, says like um, if you have sold like an op auction or anything like that actually uh, it's like you don't need this really but you can actually make like a sound so it actually um, you actually hear something if you sold something so it's really nice but we just get it because sometimes you need sometimes if you want to do that I'm just saying you want to do like let's say you want to do if you have crafting you make your crafts you're gonna need auctioning because you need to post those items because but you need to know the prices so you actually need to auction DB and so you need like every single thing it links like together so um, I would done it with like all till auditions and uh, that's basically it now we're actually gonna go to the trade skill master website we're gonna actually explain you on how to set up the trade skill master application um, what it basically means is it scans for you the auction house in your background every single hour you can like put it up uh, you can double yeah you can if you start your computer you can actually already open it and actually gonna scan the auction already for you and what it basically does is if you go to the trace master add-on you're gonna click on desktop app and then you're gonna play overview slash download what it basically does is like it updates your data and it edits it in your files and um, but sometimes if you don't reload for like an hour of like two hours it's still gonna say like last scan is gonna be two hours but if you do slash reload you're actually gonna see the numbers um, but that doesn't matter like you don't need to like re you don't need to reload every time you're gonna do like crafting you can just leave it and it's still fine because it edits your um, prices in the files but wow is of course wow is not like updating that because you're in game but if you do like the slash reload it's fine then and what it also does is like it does backups like if something happens with your TSM add-on and it's gone you can actually have backups on your account, on your uh, computer. So you can actually like copy that and paste it again in your folder and actually have everything. So if you want to have, you're going to download it right here on the Tradescom Master website. I already have it, so I'm actually going to just open Tradescom Master. What's basically going to mean is you need an account too. You need an account on Tradescom Master. You're going to actually, my account is Dramox, but you're actually going to make an account and uh, you're gonna log into TradeSkill. If you open TradeSkill Master application, it's probably gonna say like log out, log in, something like that. And you're gonna log yourself, and you're gonna have this. Maybe it's a bit different because I have my Windows, um, um, my Windows. Um, um, how do you say it? My team is different than my Win. My Windows team is like different from all other guys because I have it like on a low resolution thingy, like really low. Because uh, really basic because like it helps for me to uh, live stream it that's like less stress and all that stuff um, So basically it's gonna say like you need to put your wow directory in it So you're gonna go to your wow directory you're gonna like take it where it is on your folder somewhere Mine is on like my D drive and stuff some people have it in like the C program files world of Warcraft You know what I mean? Um, so you can actually say run at startup I have not that I haven't checked that. We can actually do that, but for some people they have like s slow computers and they don't want to actually uh, start it when it's actually gonna when you actually start up your PC. So um, 
that's your opinion like you can choose whatever you want and then you can actually then you actually need to set up your realms so we're actually gonna click on set up realms and it's gonna go to the website again and uh, over here you're gonna have the uh, you're gonna have like realms and what you're gonna do here is uh, you're gonna you can actually add your own realm at the moment I'm scanning Ravencrest EU, Outland EU, McTiernan EU and Lightbringer US. I'm going to actually remove McTiernan EU because I'm not playing on that server anymore. Um, so these are the servers where I'm playing on and where I'm using Tradeskill Master on. So um, you can actually search those realms and uh, say for you have that one you're going to press add realm and bang it adds your realm. It says lost update is none there. But in a bit, it's gonna say like last update that time. But I don't need it. Like you need to check it first though. Like it doesn't it doesn't check it yet. You're gonna check auction DB and you're gonna check WoW auction like the other ones what I have here. And if you have done that, it's actually gonna scan the auctioners for you every single hour. And that's basically everything. That's how you set up the TradeScope Master application. And you're just gonna leave it in your background. You're gonna minimize it and just leave it. If you just leave it like that, it's fine. So, uh, how do you like my uh, dragon over there? I know it's pretty sick, isn't it? But yeah, that was basically it about the Tradescale Master add-on and how to download it and uh, what to download and how to set up the Tradescale Master application. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials and uh, follow me on my live stream. I will be live streaming. I'm trying to live stream every single day. It's not happening, but I will live stream every single week a couple of times. Um, making gold on World of Warcraft. If you tune in, you can actually make like listen to some gold tips what I have um, so stay tuned and uh, yeah follow and subscribe and also follow me on Twitter because um, I put like screenshots up there when I sell something really good so you should you guys should do that too yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it peace